so here we are with uh, Hudson Taylor. I'm so happy, we're so excited. Hello. So, Hello. Hello. We're here in bed with Jenny. So Alfie, what was your first stuffed animal? My first stuffed animal was, believe it or not, a teddy bear. Uh, I can't remember the name, but it was brown. Do you still yeah. have it? No, no way. I don't know where it's gone. Okay. Mm -hmm. I had a, I had a bear called Whisper. Uh, he was a white kind of polar bear, and I remember, in our school, we had to bring in like, uh, teddy bears, for like a, teddy bears picnic. That is uh, so cool. So I must have been about six or seven years old, um, and. I was supposed to bring in a teddy, so I brought in my teddy from when I was like three or four, and his, his name was Whisper. I said his name was Whisper, I think, because he used to, like, he was kind of like, almost like my imaginary friend, kind of talked to me, he was whispering in my ear, but only I could understand him. So yeah, that was my, that was my guy. Do you think it's okay to still have stuffed animals as a grow out? Oh, well, I think it's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's you know okay. when you go to the when you go to like maybe a, if you if you don't talk to them, it's yeah. it be okay. <laughs> yeah. If you go to a, like a fun fair or something, you know, or um, a carnival or fun fair, and you play one of those games and you win a, a stuffed animal, I think it's pretty good to keep those because it reminds you how great you are because you managed to actually win one of those games. You know, like you throw like you mm -hmm. shoot shoot a rifle mm -hmm. or you throw some balls into into some target, and that's how you get like and you win a stuffed animal. Yeah, that's that's, that's okay. I think that's okay. So, what music do you listen to when you fall asleep? When I fall asleep? Uh, I just discovered, I mean, I listen to a lot of music in general, but when I fall asleep, I actually just like to listen to um, like classical music. Um, just turn it on the classical radio station. It's quite nice, quite uh, calming. Mm -hmm. well, there's this website called cam.com, like C-A-L-M.com, and you just choose like a, like a 10 minutes or like whatever it is, and it will just play kind of like, weird music in the background and then there's somebody talking to you. I like that as well. Do you have a favourite piece? Uh, I love Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a beautiful song. Um, yeah. Oh, what about you? Me, singer-songwriter music. Uh, I don't know, Bob Dylan, Joni Mitchell, Graham Nash, Leonard Cohen, whatever's going really. So, someone playing guitar and singing to me. I like. Okay, yeah. nice. Puts Next. me to sleep. And wake me up as well. So do you have a favourite at the moment? At the moment, like a song that might wake me up or go or mm -hmm. put me to sleep. Mm -hmm. Um probably a song called Cactus Tree by Joni Mitchell. Can you sing it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not very well. Not as good as okay. Joni, so I wouldn't I love her. She's very good. She's great. So uh did something bad ever happen to you or anyone else, um, because you overslept? Because I overslept. Um, it's definitely happened, let me tell you that. Um, I mean, the worst recently of being just waking up and then being in a rush. I mean, that's bad. You know, when you normally wake up and you've got to be somewhere in 10 minutes and you're like, no, I'm going to be late or I need to get there in 10 minutes. That really annoys me. I mean, have we missed anything because someone's been late or. I don't know. Have we? Has that happened? No, I don't think so. It hasn't been that bad yet. No, I think we once nearly missed a boat to from from uh, Ireland to England because one of the people who plays in the band with us had overslept so we nearly missed the boat by about that much but no technically on on a day to day basis I think we're pretty good on uh, waking up on time very good very good um, and if you could choose whomever you want who should write a lullaby for you another sleepy song uh, Joni Mitchell. <laughs> uh, let me see. That's lovely. Yeah, that that would be my answer probably mm -hmm. at the moment. Oh, so yeah, he would sing me a lullaby. Um, something really cheesy like. It ha I think it's kind of creepy if it's a like if you're a guy and you're a straight male and it's a male singing to you unless it's like someone who's got a really tender voice. So I'm gonna say, I'd love to be put to sleep with a lullaby. Sung by Tom Jones. That would be pretty sweet. It'd be like, yeah. So some or like some really low voiced male person who just like who just like vibrates the whole room and then you just fall asleep. That'd be nice. Because I think, you know, you could get a woman doing a lullaby 
but it might just keep you away because it's too sweet. You need something that's kind of like really tender and, <laughs> you know, I guess. So it's a strange question. I've never, never thought about that before. But, you know. So which monster sleeps under your bed? <laughs> uh, all bed-related questions. I like that. Uh, since we are, since in, we bed. are in the bed. Uh, which monster sleeps under my bed? Um, well, recently, I've been watching the show American Horror Story. Have you heard of that show? No, I haven't. It's a very good show. And uh, there are a few monsters in that show. Uh, and recently, yeah, the thing that I've been sort of... If I'm, in, if I'm sleeping alone or whatever... The may, you know, a bit and a bit of noise, bit of paranoid, a bit of paranoid because about. of that show. Yeah, I have the same thing from watching that show, particularly like. So how do they look like? Like, oh, it's just not it's just humans, but they're they're haunting a house basically, and they're just really creepy. They're freaking people out all the time. Yeah, and the music in that show is really intense the whole time. Even when like it would just be like if we were all having a conversation in a bed like this, they'd have this unnecessarily really creepy. Whoa. I don't like that. Sort of I don't like that. <laughs> Sort of really suspenseful okay. music um, okay. so that's what keeps me scared these days but under the bed I'd say yeah there's like foxes in my neighbourhood and you hear them like screaming all the time in outside they're probably like you know I don't know making children whatever like they're just screaming mm. foxes and they wake you up in the middle of the night because they're so loud like they'll be outside your window and you just hear this like <coughs> crazy screeching and that does keep me awake but it's not under my bed. I don't think I've ever had any kind of monsters under the bed issues. You're lucky. Lucky, yeah. Well, thank you, guys. That thank you. Ah, uh, thank you Such so much. It was a lovely, you. lovely to have you in the bed. Yes. Thank you. I'm thank going. You. I'm going to go to sleep now. Okay. Good night, Harry. Good night, Good night. everybody. Good See you. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> So sweet to the rhythms inside you.